Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for all of his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. I welcome you to a new episode to the Great Exodus series. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Faith and Action. Where do we see that we have not only to live by faith, but also do actions. Let us go to James 1, verse 27. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. This is exactly what societies of the Rose as the assemblies of love and righteousness are doing. We have come out of the world and out of Babylon and be unspotted from the world. And we do daily sacrifices of love for all people to see, to lift up the needy, the nameless, the faceless, and this also includes the fatherless and the widows in their affliction. This is a complete fulfillment of James 1.27. But it also shows that faith and our salvation that we have reached through grace by faith needs action to be fulfilled, to be complemented, to be in its best result, it needs action. Not sitting at home and waiting for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, but to go forth into the nation and to win souls. And how do you win souls? What is the best way to win souls? Is it by shouting in the street? By swearing at people? By backstabbing? By fighting? Or is it by showing forth love into the nations, by being an example of love and righteousness, by showing your light into the darkness, by being a true son and daughter of the Most High, and by lifting up the needy, the nameless, the faceless, and looking for the Lazarus at our gates. This is the action that you are called for. To be a harvest worker and to walk into the nations to bring forth the children of the Father, the children of Zion, and walk with them towards a holy mountain, a mountain that is not carved by human hands, but that is created by Jesus Christ himself. And on this holy mountain, the Father will dwell with his throne of glory. And we, as a multitude clothed in white, will be at his base. And we will go forth into paradise and will have access to his holy place. You are called forth to walk that path with us together and to establish societies of the rose in the nations. To show forth pure religion and, anything, and undefilement before God and the Father, through doing the daily sacrifice of love and righteousness, and to keep yourself unspotted from the world, by coming out of the world and out of Babylon, and not being part of the beast system anymore, but is working for money. But now your parts part of God's economy, and God's economy is about winning souls. As it is written in Daniel 12.3, you should bring as many people as possible to righteousness, so that you will shine forth as the stars forever and ever. You can do this, and this is your purpose and destiny that you have agreed to even before you were born. And now we are waking you up to your destiny and your purpose. So join us. Walk with us on that path to Mount Zion. And become a harvest worker for Yahweh, for the Lord.
and gather in the harvest of the ages and be part of the great exodus coming out of the world and out of Babylon. This is your plan of rescue, God's plan that he has provided for you to set you free, to give you complete freedom and to secure you under his wings his protection for you in assemblies of love and righteousness that's, that come together on the new altar of love, unity and support where you will support one another and support the needy as you are called for and commanded for not only by the Father but also by Jesus Christ He has called you forth to brotherly love or come together in unity. And we provide for you the vehicle that you can use to start your own ministry in an assembly of righteousness in a society of the rose. If you have questions how to establish such a society, then please watch the video in our main series about the new journey to paradise. There we have a video about societies of the rose and triple grace. So please watch them and join us. And if you have questions, please mail them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. We are here for you. We will help you on that path. And together, in love and righteousness, we will reach Mount Zion. And there we will be ruptured into paradise. And then we will be with the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. So I'm calling you forth right now, out of the world and out of Babylon. Please walk with us. Onto the pass. The door is open in front of you. Step through it, onto the pass to Mount Zion. And be part of Triple Grace and the societies of the Rose in all nations. If you feel guided to support us in any way, financially or in any other way, then please do so, and you will find the information in the description box below. I'm Michael, and I'm here for you always, and I love you, brothers and sisters, all so dearly. I'm really laying it at your heart that you walk with me that path. Please pray over my words, pray over what I have said, and ask the Holy Spirit if you should join me. And if he will give you that answer, then please contact me. Make a comment, write an email, use the forum at Triple Grace on our website. All the links are down in the description box. Or get in any other contact with me. But do something. Start. Do not remain seated in your church bench but step out now you are called to be a harvest worker of the lord so it is your time to shine he has given you all what you need now it is your destiny on purpose to go into the dragon's layers and to get the pearls out the children of the father and bring these children to mount zion I hope you enjoyed the teaching today and I will see you again tomorrow. May God bless you and your family abundantly. My name is Michael and have a nice day. Maranatha.